Hey everybody, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about uh, working and homeschooling and can you work full time and still homeschool? And the short answer is yes, that's the simplest way to say it is yes you can. But as parents we know that there's no simple answer when it comes to anything with our children. So let's kind of dig a little bit deeper into that respect right now and kind of how that all works out. So coming from experience, I have worked full time uh, while I have also homeschooled my children. Um, now I was not homeschooling all three of our children at the time. We were only homeschooling two because our third daughter was still too young. But at the same time, we were still kind of doing the whole ABCs and whatnot with her. Um, now, with that being said, um, at the time, my husband was also running his own business, and I was helping out with that. So I was working my full-time job. I was also working part-time helping him with the business. Um, I actually was also writing a book um, and then homeschooling the kids as well, too. So I was a very busy person at the time. And my job was a 9-to-5 kind of job. It was not a... Um, uh, you know, nighttime job or anything like that. I was in sales. And so let's discuss that a little bit and like kind of talk about if that's even right for your family. So now with that being said, you absolutely can create the space, the environment, the time and everything like that to homeschool your child. Um, at the time, it was maybe an hour a day that I did homeschooling my oldest daughter and about half hour a day with my youngest daughter or my middle daughter. My middle daughter was in kindergarten and my older daughter was, my oldest daughter was in uh, first, second grade. Yeah, second grade at the time. So there was a lot of, obviously this is younger age and everything like that. But even then, like they were very reliant on me. I did not do any kind of online schooling. It was workbooks. We used the good and the beautiful and that's what we did. However, with that, I had to create specific times on when I did homeschooling with my kids and when I was just kind of there present and they were kind of doing some of their own stuff on their own. Now, obviously at that young of an age, handwriting was a big thing. So a lot of times I did work from home, um, but I still was basically in my office from 8.30 to 4.30. Like I, I came out for lunch, but my girls pretty much were not allowed in there. I may as well have not worked from home. Um, but when I was doing times where I was like doing emails and things like that, I'd have my girls do handwriting next to me. I knew that they weren't going to make any noise because they were just doing handwriting and I could send off emails. Now, if a customer called me, I absolutely had to have them be quiet or go out of the room and take care of my customer call. And that's just the way it was. And basically what happened is right after I would get out of work, so I get out of work at 4.30, basically from about 4.30 to, I guess, 6 or so, 6.30 maybe, I was doing homeschooling with the kids and then it was dinner time and so on and so forth. Um... We did not have them in a ton of extracurriculars at the time. Um, this was basically kind of during COVID. So both my daughters were in dance prior to this, and my husband would take them to dance. But at that point, you know, with COVID happening, we <laughs> there was no more dance. Um, but it worked, and that was kind of the schedule we created. I think that one of the biggest misconceptions is when you pull your kid from school that you're going to be doing just as much work with them as the teachers were in school. That's not the way it works. You're doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction with your child. So you're not having to interact with 30 different kids or however many there are in that classroom. You're able to just focus on your one child and their needs. And that's fantastic because then you can go forward from there and you don't, you take an hour versus eight hours kind of deal or an hour and a half or something like that. And it's, is different with every family. So like, I've talked about in other videos, the schedule that I have set up, you know, Monday through Thursday is language arts. Friday is like our Spanish science geography kind of stuff. And then Saturday is Bible study. And then Sunday is usually we're doing like some sort of artsy type thing. Now, with that being said, the schedule varies sometimes. Sometimes I don't do language arts Monday through Thursday. Sometimes I do it on different days and, you know, language arts or math or something like that. And that's, again, the beauty of homeschooling is at the time when I worked full time, there were times I traveled for my job. Like I was gone for a week at a time and my husband would do some of the homeschooling with the kids, but it wasn't as much as what I would do. And then I'd come back and we just keep going from there. Like it wasn't a big deal. And now the state that I lived in at the time was Florida and they had to show progression and my kids were absolutely progressing. They were doing better than they were in the beginning of the year. 
And that was a different thing. I know it's different for different states too. I know like Pennsylvania is way more stringent on or stringent on their like their homeschool curriculum than say Florida is and things like that. And then right now where we live in Oklahoma, there's literally no rules, but <laughs> which I actually love. But there's that thing that you can find out what the rules are for your state and then figure out how you can work it into your schedule. And if sometimes that means, so say your child is struggling in school and they're not progressing because they're having a really hard time and struggling in say language arts or math or something like that. And they just cannot grasp what they're learning, but they're being pushed ahead because that's what they need to be doing in order to go on to the next grade or whatever. That's not doing your child any good. It's not doing you as a parent any good because you're having to do the homework at home and you're both crying and screaming and pulling your hair out and everything else because your child doesn't get it. There's times where it is better to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction that and having that flexibility to be able to move around the schedule. My oldest daughter is a very much so one you know, she does one language arts lesson, one math lesson, Spanish, she likes to do more than one and same with like science and geography and stuff like that. But the core subjects of language arts and math, one, one set, one, not one subject, but like one set of schoolwork. Like she does one, one lesson and then she's done. My middle daughter, we could do three, four, five lessons of math and she's perfectly fine with that. And then we move on and do one lesson of language arts because she only wants to do one lesson of language arts. But that's the great thing is that's what we do. And so my middle daughter who just got done with what was it? First grade math. She's already in second grade math and we're not even, well, we are done with like technically the school years over in public school, but she started doing second grade math back in March. And so now she's, you know, she's going to be starting third grade math probably sometime in December or something like that. So it's one of those things that you can also still move at the level of your child. Even if you are working full time, you're able to understand that and grasp that. And again, working full time, you're definitely going to have to create a schedule. You're going to have to create a set of guidelines and rules of when you're doing homeschooling, when you're not doing homeschooling. Um, there is actually a Facebook group um, called, I believe it's Working Homeschool Moms. And it's literally an entire Facebook group of nothing but moms who work full time <laughs> and homeschool their kids. So if you're looking for maybe more specific to your area, you can get that and talk to those people and discuss like what they do in order to do this. When I was doing this, there were a lot of nurses actually that were homeschooling their children that I saw on the page. There was a lot of, you know, like accountants and things like that. There were people who worked, who were actual teachers they were teachers. They taught in public school, but they homeschooled their kids, you know, and things like that. So like, there are a lot of parents out there that are doing this. And I am not like the end all be all at experience on working full time and raising, you know, homeschooling my children. But there are other parents out there that maybe they're working in the field that you're working in and they can give you pointers. So I highly suggest that Facebook group. Um, I do believe, like I said, it's working homeschool moms. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, but that's the thing you can work out with your schedule. So say you do work a nine to five kind of job. Are you going to come home at the end of the day and, you know, do homeschooling with your kids for like an hour or two or whatever, or maybe, you know, Saturday or Sunday, those are your days where you get a lot of your homeschool work knocked out. Maybe you do work as like a nurse and you're working, you know, four days a week or so. And then, you know, those are long days. And so you do homeschooling on the three other days and they're a little bit longer of homeschooling with your child, but they are, um, it's still, it's, it's less days, but it's longer time. That's fine. You got to really try to look at your schedule. And obviously this is whatever's best for you and your child, well, mostly for your child, but whatever's best for your child and then working it in and figuring out if this is something you can do. I know not every parent's supposed to homeschool. I know not every working parent's supposed to homeschool. I'm not saying that everyone should be homeschooling. But what I am saying is that if your child is struggling in school and having a ridiculously hard time and not getting the kind of help and assistance that they need, maybe look at your schedule and try to figure out what, what is actually best for your child and then going from there and trying to see how it can work in your schedule. And I know it can seem really daunting. It can seem very challenging. 
uh, to actually make that change, especially when you are working from working either from home or working full time out of the house or whatever. Um, but understand that there are a lot of resources out there for homeschooling parents. Most areas have a homeschool co-op in their area that you can reach out to as well and ask for guidance and everything like that. And also with curriculum, you don't have to do the kind of curriculum I did where I have actual workbooks that I go through with my children. There is online homeschooling options. Um, and I'm not talking like from the state homeschooling options. There's actual online homeschools. So if you prefer online schooling or maybe your child prefers online schooling, then you can go that route and homeschool that way or whatever it may be. There's a lot of those different resources out there where you can tailor your child's education to your schedule and what they need and everything like that. My niece, actually, she is homeschooled, has been homeschooled now for, gosh, I want to say five years or so. She's graduating a year and a half early. She did strictly online classes, like online homeschool classes, but she's graduating a year and a half early and she's only been homeschooling for five years. Obviously she was in public school before both her parents work. Um, it wasn't really an option for, you know, mom and dad to do like the book work with her. Like they, they didn't want her in public school anymore but they didn't have the ability to sit down and necessarily teach her on their own. So they found an online option that worked good for them. Same thing actually with my husband's uh, brother and their children. They have four, yeah, four children that are all going through online homeschooling classes. And, and it's, again, it's not through the state that they're living in. It's an online homeschool program. And again, both, actually both parents in this family work full time. And my brother, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law my husband's brother and his wife both work full time. And I'm talking like sometimes overtime and everything else, but their kids are still getting a fantastic education and everything else. And so, but they don't have to actually necessarily sit there with them and do it again. It's whatever's right for your family. For my family, I like doing the sit down book work. I like that interaction with my kids and everything else. Not everybody's like that. <laughs> and that's totally okay. And that's the beauty of it. There's so many different resources out there that if you are thinking about homeschooling, but you think that because you work full time, you can't do it. Look at the options, research it, reach out to homeschool co-ops, find a Facebook group on uh, that does, you know, like I said, the working homeschool moms and everything else. Find some sort of connection with somebody where they can kind of help point you in the right direction or guide you somewhere. And then be able to do that. And I just don't want people to dismiss the fact that if their child's struggling, they have no options. Um, because that quite frankly, that's heartbreaking. And I get that as a parent that you want literally the absolute best for your child. And when you feel like you have no options, then you feel helpless as a parent to help your child. And that's your job as a parent to help your child. So I know that's a very heartbreaking situation to be in. And I don't want any parent to ever feel like they don't have hope or they have no way of trying to do something different or whatever. I understand, especially with the way everything's going now, the need for full-time incomes and everything else. And so it's one of those things that I, I just because of the way that everything's going, I don't think our sh children should suffer because of that. And uh, I want parents to know that there are those options. There are online homeschool classes. You can do, a lot of states have online schooling through the state as well, too. It's still technically, it's kind of like homeschooling. Basically it is, but you're still doing it through the state. There's books, tons and tons of different. Uh, there's The Good and the Beautiful, Abeka, Masterbooks. Uh, gosh, there's a million of them. <laughs> there's a ton of book homeschool curriculums. Um, and then there is just a ton of online programs as well too, that do online homeschooling and you can pick and choose and find out whatever works best for your family. Maybe doing language arts and books is better, but doing math online is better. Who knows? But again, that's the beauty of it. And again, that's how you can work it in with your schedule, with work, figuring out what works for you, what works for your child and everything else. And then incorporating that into your schedule so that your child is getting the best education possible. And then as you, as the parent, don't feel helpless to take, 
to help your child if they're struggling in a certain subject. Um, so just something to think about, guys. Really, you know, honestly pray on it. If this is something that you're feeling led to do and feeling called to homeschool your child, but you work full time, really just pray on it. And like I said, reach out. Find a homeschool co-op in your area. Find that Facebook group that I mentioned like five times now, Working Homeschool Moms. And reach out to people and see how they do it. Quite frankly, the best examples are the people who are already doing it. And find out what they're doing and how it works for them. And then tailor that to your family. Because your family, your child is going to be different than any other person's family or child. And figure out what works best for your child. And un give yourself grace. So much grace. <laughs> Whenever you start doing this, give yourself so much grace. Because you're going to need it. Understand that you're not going to be perfect. No one is perfect. And every situation you're going to be learning and growing, I learn every year a better way to maybe teach my child or teach my children. Um, and now I got three of them that I'm homeschooling. <laughs> I got three that I'm homeschooling and, uh, it's been fantastic. It's been a wonderful journey. We've been homeschooling for six years now, seven, seven years now. And so it's just one of those things to think about guys pray on it. And like I said, if you absolutely, if you do have any questions and you want to reach out to me, what it was like when I was working full time and homeschooling my kids as well, please feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that anybody has. Um, and as always, please remember to like subscribe and click that bell for notifications. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.